Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's good schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Wednesday, the 24th of November, 2021. <clears throat> right now in Jacksonville, Florida, it is 59 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Humidity is at 75%. It's 15 degrees Celsius. So, today I'm going to make a... Uh, Bivy heater, tent heater, room heater, mini stove, candle stove, um, candle heater, whatever. So, starting out the base is one of these tins. This is a tin of cookies from Dollar Tree. And it's, you know, not even as big as my hand. So, we're going to need... One of them, you can use whatever you want. This is just what I've got at the moment. Uh, I actually saw this on YouTube, a, a version. And this is going to be my adaptation. You're going to need stones, gravel, some sort. These are from Dollar Tree. You will need... Let's see, what do I do with them? Uh, Dollar Tree sells these type of tea lights these will burn maybe two hours I have these oil lights to go into a tea light type candle these are supposed to burn 12 to 15 hours and then I have these long-lasting tea lights from I got these on Amazon there's 48 in here and I paid like seven dollars or something these are supposed to burn uh, eight to ten hours so we shall see along with those we need some nuts and bolts Maybe some washers. This is just an assortment I got from Harbor Freight. We're going to go with these. What are they? That one. It is an M6 by 1.0 by 50 millimeter. So, I'm going to do three of these. In the bottom of the tin. So... I'm going to use, boom, 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 where is it, there we go, a drill, and make a mess. <laughs> Ooh, I guess I should have taken the paper out of the inside of it, huh? That would help. It still smells like cookies. See, can I get you down here? Probably not. So we have one hole there. Come around here. About a third of the way. You don't even need to, to uh, center punch this. This stuff is just so, so thin. He says, and then it walks all over his place on him. You gotta just push it down. And then one more. And then we're going to need to. Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to clean this up, maybe waller that hole out a little bit. Not quite big enough.
it's a terrible way to treat your tools, I know. Uh, see if that did it. All right. We'll put that through there like so. Uh, let's see what type of washers I have. Put a little washer on it. Like so. And run a bolt or run a nut. Up it. Take a wrench or a pair of pliers and snug that down. We're going to do that three times and I'll bring you back. Oops. Some people may be concerned that it's not exactly in threes. <coughs> yeah, all right. Some people may be concerned that it's not exactly in threes doesn't bother me if you're that type then go ahead and get out your dividers and divide it into three equal parts but that's going to work okay so if you put these in the other way and they come out here then you can stand them up that way the candles on here and you would have a small stove four or five candles you'd be surprised how well that will cook we're going to go ahead and get some mass in here. now you're not going to get a ton of heat out of light candles they only have a certain amount of BTUs however this will capture those BTUs kind of concentrate them and you can come in and you know, warm your hands and it will kind of warm up around your area a little bit so anyway let's see how can I get you all down here to see oh where's my candles at First of all, I think these are oil lamps. Will that work? I think these are a little too tall. Yeah, that's going to be too tall. I would need three inch, three inch uh, bolts for that. I think we're going to go with three of these candles now Let's see bring y'all down whoa almost lost you did lose you <laughs> uh, there's still one one pebble put caught in there one out there we go hmm what to do what to do what to do I can raise this there we go like so we'll put these under here right now we are at 71 Point eight Fahrenheit at five fifty two. Go ahead and get these wicks stood up. Like so. Break out my new lighter. Seriously, I uh, hope you never 
to have an emergency trying to get these things open. There it is. I know I should have done this before I turned on the camera. But there we got one. There goes two. There goes three. And let's see. I had this app pulled up. My phone keeps. I got sleep set up too. Go, going to sleep too quick. So right now it is 66 degrees Fahrenheit inside. Uh, that read 71 degrees. So who knows what's right. Yeah, it's still saying 66. We're going to take a. So that's saying 75 on the phone. 69 on a jar right across the table from me. <coughs> 68. 68.9. So. So you get you back a little bit further. There we go. Like I said, this is not going to, I mean, we're in a 10 by 12, 12 by 12, eh, roughly 12 by 12 by 7 space with a lot of junk in it. <laughs> but uh, this probably will not heat this room much more than a couple of degrees. It may work better in the bathroom. It will probably work good in the van or, like I said, in a tent. And it's more just something to come in and put your hands on. But let's give this a little bit of time to do its thing. And uh, we'll come back and check it in, let's say, an hour. So it's just now going on 6 o'clock. Come back out here about 7 and see what's going on. See you then. Kind of related to this, kind of related to all this because it had me thinking about my various tins. Nikki St. Laurent did a video not long ago on tins. And uh, like I said, it had me thinking about them. So, like the cookie jar or cookie tin that I had laying around. This one, this is full of googly eyes. This one. Carries a couple of emergency candles. This one came with a bunch of Ozark Trail knives, but I carry my acrylic paint markers. So, yeah, you never know when a tin is going to come in handy. Back to the build. Alrighty, so right on the can. Now let's bring you down here. See what you can see. Maybe, maybe, maybe. All right. One hundred and twenty-four point seven. At the top, one hundred and sixty-three point four. Over here. This is saying 66 degrees, and that's what, five feet away? I am an arm's length away. I can feel it. It feels warmer. This is saying, like over there where the camera is, it's 71. 
so it's not <coughs> excuse me 69 on that box on the back I think it was 67 before so it's not throwing a lot of heat but like I said I can feel it right here so and again I'm I'm what three feet away two and a half feet away these rocks are too too hot to put my hand on I mean they, they they're scorching hot so does this work kind of I mean it's an empty tin there's a dollar worth of stones Maybe a dollar's worth of hardware. Uh, 75 cents a dollar's worth of candles. So this is going, this will burn for eight hours maybe for three bucks. And uh, yeah, it, it takes a while to build up. It, it, it was at least a half hour before I started seeing any real heat coming off of the top of the stones but you know hey it is what it is um might find it might get another tin and put another lid on top and see if that does anything uh you know to heat the stones up and keep that heat in with the stones that's an idea and uh maybe i'll bring you all back on that and i'll do another video where i take this apart or maybe i'll buy another can of cookies because <coughs> yeah those are those cookies are dangerous, <laughs> uh, but I'll, make, I'll try. I'll make one up the opposite way and make a stove out of it. So, um, only because I don't feel like taking this apart and storing all the all the rocks. But you could. I mean, you could basically take this all apart, put the <coughs> excuse me, put the nuts and bolts in the can, close the can up, put it in a backpack. And carry it with you, you know. Then your candles would go in a in a little vial of some sort, and you know, there you go. But yeah, I'm just gonna leave this sitting out because I kind of like it. I like the ambiance of the of the candles. I kind of like the stones. And uh, yeah, I could have cleaned the can up. People are gonna be like, "Oh, you should have, you know, wire brushed the can if that's if that's your thing. Do it." <laughs> you know. Um, Paint it with, with heat-resistant paint? Maybe. I'm not that worried about it. If it starts to smoke, I'll blow the candles out, and then I'll take the paint off. But... <coughs> uh, one, two, three, done. You know? Um, like I said, the same thing with the... If you want to if you want to be specific on your... On, you know, breaking it up into three equal portions for your tripod. Uh, you do you. <laughs> and it works. So that's all I'm really worried about. And, uh, well, it works for what it is. Let's put it that way. So, uh, let me know what you think, folks. Thumbs down, thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is you all your comments on your internet access device of choice. You want to share me around your social media, that'd be fandoculous. You want to check me out on Facebook or Instagram, I'll get some links in the description box wherever that is on your device of choice. I also put links to similar videos. Um, you'll find my email and my snail mail and all that good stuff. So, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, if your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised an express. So I'll see y'all again. I hope you have a fandoculous day. Slotchy, y'all. Uh, bye bye. Okay, it's a quarter of eight. And this has been turned off for 45 minutes or so. Those stones are still hot, it's still radiating. A lot of heat.